good. You back out now, you go home. We don't quit, son. You understand me? You fight, 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 fight. Is this what you want to do? You want to go play golf? You want to play soccer? This is your house. This is your trash. No matter where we go, you take it. You understand me? Get ready. Go! Go, 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 go! Addition. These are adding. You're adding numbers to four. Most often, when people meet Carter, their first impression is kind of like he doesn't act six at all. As a mom, it's kind of overwhelming. Sometimes I don't really know what to do with him. For somebody to find their passion at six is very unusual. One weekend, he got first place, and after that, it was just kind of a consistent top three at almost every race. Well, really getting Carter involved in the sport, it didn't take much. I watched one race on TV, and I was like, oh, I gotta do this. At the time, he couldn't ride a bicycle without training wheels. I said, well, you go ride that bicycle out there with no training wheels, and we'll buy you a bike. Oh, I think it took maybe a week, and then we were taking off the training wheels, and he was out there, you know, jumping rocks and, and riding around like he had ridden a bicycle forever. And I was like, great. You know, now I told this little kid that I gotta buy him a bike. Spin. Huh? Spin. Yeah. spin. I said spin, not spin. <laughs> Alright, keep spinning. Motocross can be a very dangerous sport. I get stressed out sometimes, but Carter has this like calming personality. He's very in control. My favorite part is flying through the air and going fast. <sighs> Check's sweet. Like Loretta's, I came in third last year. And those 42 riders. That's the biggest race in the whole like, country. In the amateur world, Loretta's would be like the Super Bowl for NFL. We're, we're going for blood. We won a championship, and Carter knows that's what he's going for. It's a big race, but like I don't really get scared at any race. Two and a half, two fifteen, two and a half. Okay. When somebody has that much focus, nothing you can do about it. Dakota was really kind of the spark that lit this fire. He spends three or four hours in the building most nights out there by himself. In other people's eyes, what we do is ridiculous. My parents did what they could for me as a child, and I just want to make it that times whatever I can to make it better for him and the other ones. Sniffling. Taking hats. I think it's nuts how much he wants it. Mom, why do you need the white on? I gotta get mommy squared away. She's hungry. Happy wife, happy life. <laughs>
anything on the table here. Take this like you're at Spring Ding, Loretta's. This is it. This is go time. This is what we work for right here. We believe in you. We trust you. You know, you just got to go out and perform. I get more nervous with Carter than I really ever did with myself. What goes in my head is that I know I'm going to win and I know I'm going to beat all of them and I do. Go! Go, 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 go! You're going to bang bars. You're going to hit. Somebody's going to crash, and then you're just going to keep going. Who is it going to be as they come up over? Check out, son. Let's go. Find the road. Let's go. Let's go. Take the inside lines and it's a lot faster. We decided to move to Club MX training facility. Carter's always wanted to train full time and so we did one month just kind of like a trial and and we're still here. When Carter was in school it was difficult for him to make friends because he didn't really have anybody to relate to. And a lot of these boys that Carter finds that are as passionate, they're a lot older. It was really special to find somebody like Joey because they just kind of like get each other. Watch out, I'm still making fun. You just made a circle. Their personalities and the things that kind of make them them are very, very similar. So when Joey comes down, they just get to hang out and do like seven or eight year old boy things together. Can somebody make me some real life? A lot of times I do think, would Carter be more successful if it was more of a normal life? But this is his own personal goal that we're just trying to nourish and make happen. He wants to win a national title. Loretta's is a solid 10 days of just chaos. I mean, you have pit bikes running around, you've got golf carts, people moving in, you have dirt bikes going in the background. It's like an unbelievable experience. So, 
I just I just need you to tell me that you're not gonna play tomorrow and that you know that it's game time. That's it. You can't tell me? You don't know? It's a three moto format. I have a moto a day. They average out the motos and where everybody finishes and the overall is what really counts. The key factor in Loretta's is being consistent. for the Thunder. There is the number three of shooting down to the inside. And look at the battles now starting to shape up. Yeah, that's Carter Shooty on the number three. We talk about it all the time. You see a single digit number oh, in a he's four a to six dude. class. That means he was podium overall last year. There is Carter Schutte in the lead. The checkers are out in this one, and Carter Schutte takes a Moto One win. Carter does have like this team of mentors. Do it for real. We started with this and then worked our way over there and ended up like two. Yeah, that rolls through. Hating coming into the mix of kind of what we were all doing, it was a key part in where we are now. Their relationship happened really, really fast. Hey. It's not over till all three motos are done and you got that number one place, okay? So make every moto count. You know what I'm saying? Just saying. Can't go in too cocky, you know? You mess around bites you in the ass. Anybody can go down at any moment and anybody can come out faster than you if you're not in the right state of mind. If we're not up on that podium with a number one spot again, I'm gonna be pissed. No hugs, no hugs for me. I won't even talk to you till the next moto. How about that? Huh? Fine. 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 You ready? We are off and running. Here comes the wildest group of little riders here. And we've got a battle on our hands. Shooty trying to get away. And your leaders now, it's Carter Shooty. Oh, it's tightening up now. Carter Shooty trying to run and hide from our second place rider. And the crowd loves it. Make some noise for these young men here. The number three, Carter Schutte and Cooper Langdon going at it. Can Carter Schutte get away? Had to work hard to get that lead. Once again, Carter Schutte getting it done. Being here at Loretta's, you know, there's a lot of opportunities to get Carter's name out and talk to different people about what we're going to do next. The more help that we can get, the better off, because he's at a level that he can progress, but I can't keep up financially. But yeah, networking's a big deal. Where you going?
Let's take a look at some of our front finishers here. We'll try to look at the points and how they stack up. A perfect 1-1 one, one for Carter Schutte out of South Carolina. Big night if whoever wins this title. Could it be Carter Schutte? Chute, I believe, has already put his number three into the lead. That's what it looked like there. Case and Taylor, where did this performance come from? He has caught Chute. Into the back section we go. Chute responding to the pressure. Let's go, let's go. Work, 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 work. I believe we're on the last lap. Chute has to keep it on two wheels. And the number three is about to make the final turn. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. And the drag race down to the finish line. The 4068. Oh! Second. Yeah! Yeah, baby! Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Your national yeah! champ, Carter yeah! Chute. What if this is what he is meant to do? And what if you don't do it? What if you don't go after it like you, you guys are going after it? I don't push him to ride. I don't have to ask him to ride, you know? He just wants to ride. I mean, I think he can, he can kind of do anything that he sets his mind to. He's, he showed us that already. To see a kid that is just natural on dirt bike, to ride the way he does, it's six years old, it's like, this is something that I'm willing to give up everything for, for him to do. I want to grow up to keep winning for the rest of my life.